Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome back to modding Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now in the last couple of episodes, I've covered some things that made the game look a little bit better, and showed you ways to be able to view movies and all that kind of stuff when you're trying to do any sort of gameplay recording. But what I haven't really touched are some of the more uh, refined and situational things. Things that just make the game a little bit better, a little bit easier, just, just little quality of life things. And the first one relates to dialogue. Now, you may not have noticed this, but a lot of stuff that the player character says in Night Field Republic is very naive, overly enthusiastic, and sometimes downright stupid. Now, I understand that this is a huge game, it has tons of great dialogue, all the characters are amazing, the character that you can play, well, sometimes they don't leave you very many intelligent options. You'll see an alien, and you'll end up just saying something incredibly stupid. This mod actually changes that. It uh, edits some of the options that a player character says. It keeps the meaning so it doesn't interfere with the game at all, but it just changes the tone of things. Instead of overly enthusiastically questioning why somebody is uh, an alien or being surprised that there is an alien in the Star Wars universe where your character should be familiar with it, your character will calmly ask a question or just uh, state something and then it'll continue to lead into the next line of dialogue in a normal way that makes sense. Uh, the title of this mod is PC Response Moderation 1.0. It's by a user named Kainsris Prime. You gotta go along to the Deadly Stream forum page and download it. The link will be in the description. Go ahead and download this and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Anyway, once you have this mod installed, you will have this. It will have a readme file and a dialogue.tlk. And if you don't see the .tlk, go to my Fixing Star Wars Night of the Old Republic 1080p Windows 7 video. Learn how to view those file extensions and come back here. I will wait. Done? Okay, good. Now, you're gonna have to go over to your Steam folder. Now, uh, it's C users Steam, Steam apps common for most people. I have my Steam installed into my D drive. You're going to want to find your SW KOTOR folder, open it up, uh, you'll get a screen like this. Once here, you'll see this, and you'll see something called Dialogue.tlk. This is the original in-game dialogue, and uh, as you can see, I already have a backup of this because, as usual, I install all these mods and test everything out before I record the video, and then I just install over it and mess up my game. Basically, what you're going to do with the original, I'll just delete this right here. This is, this is what you'll see. This is the original. You're going to take this. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag this, copy it to your desktop, rename it something like .backup. Yes, it'll become unusable, that's fine. And you just put this somewhere safe. Uh, I just leave my backup right in here, right in there. But, uh, you know, you may want to keep it somewhere else. It's just good to back it up in case something goes wrong. Then you're going to take this new dialogue.tlk and you're going to just drag it over here and copy it to the main directory of SW KOTOR. It'll ask you if you'd like to copy and replace, click yes, and you're done. The dialogue is now fixed. Now I know a lot of you are coming back to this video because something went wrong and your dialogue is not working. I know how the internet works. You didn't back it up and it's broken and now you're going to blame me. Well, never fear my friend because... You can actually navigate along to a page, which I'm going to link into the description, and download the original KOTOR dialogue.tlk folder right here. You download this, delete the old one from the mod, put this back in, your dialogue will work. You just gotta restart your game and everything will be fine. The next mod that we're going to be covering also deals with a few immersion issues and it deals with dialogue. To be specific, Trask and Terrace. Now, Trask is the most annoying character in the game. He breaks the fourth wall, he's annoying, he's part of that god-awful tutorial at the beginning. I do not like doing the Endar Spire, it's awful. And this mod fixes just that. This mod is called Super Skip Terrace. Super Skip Terrace is a very simple mod that just adds a couple of lines of dialogue immediately when you wake up on the Endar Spire for when you talk to Trask. These options are, skip the Endar Spire. You'll wake up on Terrace, and you can just get right into the actual good part of the game. 
However, a lot of people have played the game so many times and don't want to have to do Terrace again. But you have to. And even if you did just skip over it, uh, you know, you wouldn't get the experience and the items and all that kind of stuff. But Super Skip Terrace has your back. There's also two other options on Tresk. One is a light side skip terrace, the other is a dark side skip terrace. It will be as if you went to terrace, you'll get all your companions, you'll get a bunch of unique items, uh, like the Brezhik's armor, all that kind of stuff. So don't worry about that, and it'll give you the appropriate amount of alignment depending on the skip, and you will basically just start the game on Dantooine ready to become a Jedi. This mod is awesome, it's simple, and it's easy to download. So just go along to the file front page that I have here and download the mod. So let's just... Now that we have Super Skip Terrace downloaded, you're just gonna go ahead and you're going to extract it. Uh, just keep it on your desktop, that's fine. So I got it right here. And open it up. Now you're gonna have the source code, you're going to have some patcher data, and you're going to have an executable. You run the executable, and it's going to open up a window here. There's just a warning, do not use this installer twice on the same dialog or you're going to get a bunch of extra options for Trask every time you skip. There's a bunch more information, but just run it once. If the options are there, you're good. You're only going to need to use this once at the beginning of your game anyway, but if you run it and then run it again, there'll be six options and two pairs of the same thing. So just, just be, be aware of that. So. You're just going to go ahead, you're going to install the mod. Uh, I'm going to get an error because, well, I've done this several times before because I actually recorded a version of this video before and lost all of my footage, which was so much fun. But anyway, that's it. Uh, now, uh, if you go into the game, there should be some uh, Skip Terrace dialogue options for Trask, uh, which should be good. And now uh, I'm just gonna take a couple seconds at the end of this video to ask you to leave some feedback for me in any way possible. I really appreciate the feedback. And uh, I'd also like some recommendations on what to do next. And now in the next episode of this series, I'm going to be doing something a little bit special. Uh, covering uh, sort of an up-and-coming sort of mod, and I think it's going to be really awesome. So stay tuned for that, uh, and as always, have a great day. I've been Zul. Thanks for watching. <laughs>